Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber has said writing the coronation anthem has been a kind of antidote for dealing with the death of his son earlier this year. The theatre impresario's song, Make a Joyful Noise, will be played publicly for the first time as the King is enthroned on Saturday. Lord Lloyd Webber, 75, who is known for hit musicals including The Phantom of the Opera, Evita, and Jesus Christ Superstar, has drawn on the words of Psalm 98 for his anthem. More than 2,200 people will be in Westminster Abbey to see Charles and Queen Camilla crowned and his composition will be first heard in public. Speaking with Channel 4 News, he described it as a joyful noise which has helped him cope with the death of his son, Nicholas, at the age of 43 on March 25th. Obviously writing the anthem, because it's joyful, it was a wonderful thing to do as a kind of antidote to what I knew was going on in my private life, he said. Music is my life. Music is what I do. The music and what I may have written for the coronation, I do obviously have the thought of my son in my mind and there will be a moment when I'm in the Abbey, I know, as there was the other day, when I'm thinking of my lovely Nick. And thinking that making a joyful noise is also for him. Speaking with the Daily Telegraph, Lord Lloyd Webber also revealed that the King insisted that the piece should be hummable and cheerful because he wants the anthem sung in churches. The composer said he hopes the anthem will be sung during celebratory occasions like weddings and christenings. After the coronation, the tune will be released as a single to raise money for the Royal British Legion and Aid UK. Lord Lloyd Webber played a huge part in the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations last June when he and Lin-Manuel Miranda performed a musical medley during the concert to commemorate the late monarch's 70 years on the throne. A similar event will take place on Sunday where Lionel Richie, who as well as attending the coronation on Saturday, is one of the big names set to perform at Windsor Castle alongside Take That and Katy Perry. The coronation concert will also feature Italian opera singer Andrea Bocelli, Welsh bass baritone Sir Bryn Terbill and singer Paloma Faith in front of a crowd of 20,000. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook.